Hey everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Hearts of Stone. Thank you so much for joining me again. We are still here at this uh, wedding celebration with Shawnee. And we are still possessed by Vladimir Von Everick. What a crazy, crazy quest this is. It's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> you hear people making donkey noises at us. And that's because we just played a game of Gwent with those halflings over there. And we lost. And, um, well, loser has to wear the donkey ears. So, uh, Vladimir put him on. He's a good sport. And, uh, Shawnee seemed to be a little endeared by that, I think. Um, she kind of liked seeing him put the, uh, donkey ears on. So, what I thought was going to be a bad thing might have turned out to be a good thing. I don't know. Let us, uh, take a look at the quest, see if there's any new text I haven't read yet. Let's see here... Probably already read this. Once Geralt and Vladimir arrived at the wedding, the ghost jumped into Geralt's body and threw himself headlong into a whirlwind of merriment, mirth, and amusement. That is what we're doing right now. One of our uh, quest uh, objectives is to take part in wedding activities until midnight. There are still a few activities to take part in. There is uh, one right here. And there's one over here. So we're going to go ahead and take part in these two more activities before we get started on what uh, are more serious uh, tasks. Let's see. Who are we supposed to talk to or visit? Uh, oh, okay, so these ladies over here, I guess we're supposed to have a drink with them. I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny naturally. Your elf and happiness. Smile upon you, White Wolf. Let's go kill huh. I love it when they call me White Wolf. Okay, so we took a drink with them. A little drunk, but uh, it goes away quickly. Now there's one more party thing to do. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Uh, oh wow, I'm over encumbered. How long have I been over encumbered? <laughs> Didn't even know that. Uh, so somewhere right here, near Master Mirror, is, uh, another thing that we're supposed to, uh, partake in. Ah, man. So now we're over-encumbered. I gotta take care of that. Uh, oh, wow. I can't even look at my inventory. Can't look at my inventory. Okay, that's weird. Well, I guess we'll stay over-encumbered for a bit. Uh, don't you stop in the doorway. Okay. Uh, well, that's Gontaro Dim right there. I think. Oh, no, it's not. We're going to go this way. Uh, do we talk to this woman, maybe? Hurt your head. Yeah, I remember we walked in here before, and I looked for something, and I didn't find anything, and I'm a little disturbed by that, because... Um, if I can't figure out what the heck it is I'm supposed to be doing here, then I can't finish this quest. So, I don't know, I'm a little bothered by this. I mean, yeah, there's there's two icons here. Well, um, I don't want to speak with uh, Gontaro Dim yet, because I'm afraid that that's going to forward the story along. So let's go out here and see if we can't uh, find this guy's dog. Do that real quick. So we're supposed to go over here. And supposed to do a little bit of sleuthing. Which he's pretty excited about. Alright. So here's the dog house. Examine. The hound tore his chain off the wall. Underfed it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. Okay, we've got this. This bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. That is one daft mutt. Uh, got a big bone here. Oh, not so clean. I've only ever seen two like this. One in an anthill. The other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. Okay, this is still Vladimir talking. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. And judging by its house, demon is a hulk. But beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Yes. We shall follow these tracks. See where they lead us. Out the uh, 
gate. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pear. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. Shan't be long now. All how right. The search? No discoveries of note as yet, but I shan't give up. This witcher work suits me swimmingly. Okay. Yeah, he's doing a pretty good job as a witcher. Oh, what's this? A broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps <laughs> someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, there is joy in this ferreting. <laughs> he loves this ferreting. Uh-oh. Something up ahead here. What's this? Fire Swallower's Cap. Spark Spitter's Cap, if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come, Chap must have lost it running from Demon. Two conclusions, then. Our magician is fat and a coward. <laughs> a fat coward is what we're looking for. Is there a cave here? No, I thought I saw a cave. Through the water. Around here we go. It's quite a path. Oh, there's demon. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Uh, let's see. Calm it or chase the dog off? Let's calm it. We have the skills. <laughs> Still has the ears on. Good dog. Now that is power. If I'd had that... The Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. <laughs> no. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Uh-oh. We're all over. <laughs> there he goes. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. <laughs> now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun. Have it at the wedding. Right. I'm down. Man eating beasts gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. That's more than a sip. Holy cow, dude. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. Boar was fleeing a noun. And Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Those are excellent ears. <laughs> Might try a pair like that. Just not sure they'd fit under my cap. Uh, let's see. Here's your hat. Your cap, sir. Lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck it has. I'll wear it for every performance. So, are you always this easily scared? You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! <laughs> a demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. 
Now what will become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Hmm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So was that misunderstanding? <laughs> Alright, well, you can't go to the wedding looking like that, dude. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Hmm. So, um... Let's see, let's go, you can... F that's weird. Uh, what's the trick to fire eating, anyway? This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire guzzling trickery. How does it work? Oh, they tossed me out the guild if I told. Except if I took you on as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drank it all yourself. You're no brother <laughs> of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's assault. He's suppressing the arts. <laughs> Out with it. I got, I got a special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, have just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my lead, and now insults. I'm done here. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Yeah, do something. Uh, let's... Ah, crap. Fine, I'll pay you. Listen, I'll give you some more coin, and you'll go back to the wedding. Are you daft? This extortionist's already got his due. Take it or leave it. Right. Convincing. Honorless prick. Olgird had it right. All artists are whores. Let's go. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. So I didn't want to upset the people at the wedding. Keep calm. Stay close. Oh, I have to protect this guy? Oh, no. I do not like this. Uh, I do not like escort missions. Oh, gosh. Well, hopefully we don't have too far to go. Oh, goody. A bear. A boar. As much as your cocks and tentpole, I be damned for Alright, let's wail on this stupid boar. Hey, stop it. I'm just being lazy. I really don't want to fight this thing, so... I'm probably being dumb here. <sighs> the boar's just kind of trotting along. Oh, just die already. Alright, dead boar. Uh, I guess I'll loot it. Tell me, are bears often boar-shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire eater. Not some damn naturalist. Indeed you are not, Master. Uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altonsborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. <laughs> Stay close and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing oh, fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. <laughs> And demon, what's with him? He failed to return. Oh. No, he did. Okay. He's just acting mighty strange. Oh. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please. I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire. We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> this looks like a disaster waiting to happen. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that kid is spazzing. Whoa.
get it over with, dude. Johnny likes what she sees. Nothing more romantic than a fire breather, apparently. Okay. Well, there's still one more activity. First Witcher contract done. Fire eater found. His ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a Witcher for damn certain. <laughs> Can we talk to him again? Not really. So there's supposed to be one more activity to take place in, or take part in, before midnight. But, uh, like I said, I tried to do that, and it doesn't seem to be giving me that opportunity in here. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but there really are two things here. There's talk to Master Mirror, and then right next to it is take part of the wedding activities. And I don't think they're the same thing. And I'm also pretty sure that once we talk to him... We're not going to be able to take part in the activities. So I'm a little concerned. No, can't do nothing with him. Can't do nothing with her. So I don't really know what activities it is I was supposed to take part in here. Doggone it. Um, well. Yeah, it's definitely not her. Well, I don't know, man. Oh, wait a minute. Is this... No. I thought this candle or cup or something looked like it highlighted there for just a second. Well, crud. Uh, you know, I like to try to finish all of my quests. But uh, now I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to finish this one. Well, yeah, so I could extinguish the light if I wanted to. That's... That's it there. Well, um... Hmm. Stop staring at the kids, you're scaring them. Stop staring at the kids, you're scaring them? I wasn't staring at no kids. I don't see anything else to interact with here. I'm using my Witcher senses too, and I don't see anything, so... I guess we'll just talk to Gontaro Dim and hope that everything works out the way we want it to. Alright, dude. Gingerbreads now, but flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time that you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. All right, nice talking to you. Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. I seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days and always wished to be just like you. Hmm. How do you know I'm not Geralt? Wait. You can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witchers, and... Just... Who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. Hmm. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. 
You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Hmm. I will not listen to this or not true prove it. Well, let's see if he could prove it. I'm kind of curious to see how he could prove something like this and why he thinks it. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. All geared ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. All geared learned to read fast, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shawnee. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shawnee isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale of Oh my gosh, what the heck, dude? Oh, by the way, all gears are much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgear told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgear visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. The heck is he talking about? Shani. Oh. I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. It's really not. It's already 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. Lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Well, was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe it. And now revel on. Time will wait. Oh, so now we are to go to the barn for the capping ceremony. Is there any new text for what the heck just happened? That was weird. Nope, no new text for that. Now I'm dying to know what it is that uh, Olgear is going to say that's so interesting. We are to go to the barn for the capping ceremony. And I thought that's where Shawnee was heading, but I guess not. So, hey Shawnee, how's it going? Oh, no, not the girl. What a wonderful wedding. It's clear the newlyweds parents were at no expense. It is clear, isn't it? It's... All right, let's go in the barn. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen. Mm. This night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. Uh oh. Geralt, there's no need. Uh. Oh, let's hear what he has to say. <laughs> no need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, hey, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? Where are you going with this, dude? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. 
You've still shite all to talk about, <laughs> but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely pair with his pale and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind the song, we all sing to be unkind. Uh oh. Landed right on her head. <laughs> Oh, what the heck are you doing, man? <laughs> Couldn't find any ink. Looks like he's about to cry. Look at his eyes. That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Gear's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. That was dirt, but good. Hmm. A lovely custom. Blushing maids, twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing... Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see, she asks after me, misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light, a team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. Oh. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Garrett think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm oh. dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. It's a big apple. Stop! Oh. I beg you, stop! Get to ye hence. Or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. 
I promise he'll not die. <laughs> This. I actually feel bad for Vladimir. He just wanted to have fun. That was unduly harsh. Didn't have to make him suffer. Of course I needn't have. But I could. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see. So... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Charlie, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. Hmm. Wow. I'd like to stay a bit longer. Let's hang out with Shani for a little bit. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Eldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The <laughs> face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers. Or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Hmm. Well... <laughs> this quest isn't over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let us see here. Uh, oh, maybe it is over. Uh, okay, so that quest is over, and now we're in a new quest. This is a secondary quest. Uh, the quest we just completed was called Dead Man's Party. So let us look for it in here and see if there's any final text for that quest. That was, that was fun. Uh, very unique, very creative, and uh, very enjoyable. I liked it. All right, where... Oh, 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 oh. Maybe that quest isn't over. Uh, no, it's not. That quest is still not over. Okay, hearing Geralt recount that night's festivities, I realized it was a great shame I had not been able to attend. Not only would I have graced the guests with a performance worthy of the occasion, remember, this is Dandelion talking, but also I would have witnessed its wonders firsthand the better to now convey them to you, dear reader. Yet I consider my chance to craft an epic nuptial ballad merely delayed, not missed, for Shawnee caught the garland during the capping, meaning I will surely be a guest of honor at her wedding in the near future. Vladimir, I hear, enjoyed himself tremendously, though he was forced off the stage and into the netherworld in a rather unpleasant manner by Master Mirror at the end. Before that happened, he wrote a letter to his brother in his own, that is to say, Geralt's blood, thus providing proof that the Witcher had fulfilled Olgird's wish. Okay, so uh, to comp to, the next task is to inform Olgird the task has been completed, but we're not going to do that yet because we have this secondary quest that we're working on here. Though Vladimir had returned to the Nether Realms, the night was still young and the wedding not yet over. 
Shawnee, dejected at the thought that Geralt would soon return to his many pressing concerns, was sitting alone at one of the tables, staring glumly at the crowd of merrymakers. Master Mirror advised Geralt that a bouquet of flowers or some tasty liqueur might cheer her up. So, we could, um... Oh, wow, character entry has been updated. Oh, a couple of character entries has been uh, have been updated. And then we have this new Midnight Clear quest. <laughs> this thing just keeps going, man. <laughs> um, let's see here. I don't know which key brings up the uh, character's entry. So, uh, Gonchiro Dims has been updated. Let's see what there is new about him. Let's see here. Master Mirror appeared once again, suddenly and out of nowhere as usual, after Olgird proclaimed his first two wishes. Ma Mirror told Geralt of a way to show Olgird's brother the time of his life. Okay, we already read that part. This part down here we didn't. Master Mirror made an appearance at the wedding Geralt attended with Shawnee and the ghost of Vladimir, who inhabited Geralt's body, so that he may enjoy one last night of earthly revelry. When midnight struck, Vladimir was unsurprisingly in no mood to abandon the pleasures of the Witcher's flesh. Yet Master Mirror intervened to put an immediate and cruel end to Vlad's stay among the living. Geralt later told me the cries of torment Vlad's ghost made haunted his dreams for months to come. And then Vladimir's been updated as well. Okay, uh, all right. When midnight struck, the capping ceremony began, and Vladimir von Everick's time among the living came to an end. Yet the witcher's skin had felt so good on him, he had no intention of shedding it. Yeah, I was worried about that. Only the appearance of Master Mirror finally forced Vladimir back whence he came. In Geralt's account, Master Mirror caused Vlad's ghost a great deal of pain while banishing him. I do not know exactly how one could cause a disembodied spirit pain, but clearly Master Mirror knew a way. He was strange, that one. Even thinking about him now gives me goosebumps. Yeah, I can understand why. Uh, I kind of want to um, read uh, Shawnee's character entry in the journal to find out what might cheer her up. Um, or we could just use our Witcher senses because that's what's highlighted right now. So here is a bottle. Good need ought to lift her spirits. Okay, a little bit of good. Whoa! Sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? Uh, let's take everything, I guess, or actually, let's leave it. Good idea. Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. Um. Oh crap. Okay. Oh crap. I hope I didn't screw that up. Um. There, I wanted to switch to that one. I couldn't remember what key switches to that. I want to read her character journal, her character entry in the journal, to find out what cheer her up. Or do they just simply mean this character entry in here? Is that all they mean? Let's see. Shawnee. Um. Hmm. I don't know. So, at times fate composes tales so shocking no poet would dare to put his name on them for fear his public would mock, would mock them as overly outlandish. Such was the case when Geralt and the ghost of Vladimir von Everick shared a body for an evening and accompanied Shawnee to the wedding of Aldana, her friend from the academy. Some might have let this unusual escort interfere with their enjoyment of the evening, but not Shawnee. Looking around at the tasteful wedding decorations, smelling the rich odor of berry-laden rowan, a plant near and dear to her heart, one which summoned up fond childhood memories, Shawnee felt the heedless abandon of her younger years return, and overjoyed threw herself into the thick of activities. So, or festivities. So she likes wedding decorations and she loves this Rowan. One thing is certain, Shawnee was not bored by the company of Vladimir von Everick, who
who showered her with professions of burning desire and swept her off her feet with his maniacal energy. Yet when the hour came for him to return to the netherworld, she breathed a sigh of relief, for now she could spend some time alone with Geralt, who was much more sensitive and predictable, though Vlad would probably just call him boring. Okay, so decorations and Rowan, or those might even be the same thing. So, let's find something for Shawnee. So we already found this bottle here. Probably not going to be too interested in that. Uh, over here... Um, oh. excuse me. Is... It looks like another... Oh, dang, I want to get out of the way. Oh, you jerk. Turned around and went right back in. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I mean, it is Rowanberry, but there was, oh, gosh, I don't know, man. There was no mention Good idea. of the wine. Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. I think if we stick to the, uh, the flower itself, we might be okay. Man, that's stupid people hanging out in the doorway. It'll be hard to get out of here. Look at this place. I think I can get, get out going around this way, maybe. I'm worried I'm going to walk by Shawnee and trigger an event, so I really don't want to walk over there. You people need to get out of the doorway! Thank you. Uh, let's see, there is something else in this direction. Let's see here. I'll go down the steps, Geralt. It's not that difficult. Um... Maybe we need to, oh gosh, go up here and go this way. And look around here. Looks like rain. Yeah, it looks like rain. Examine. A rowan. A rowan. Shani mentioned she used to weave the berries into necklaces. Now we're talking. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Oh, it most definitely will. Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic. <laughs> Okay. Oh, here we go. So we must have picked the right thing, because we're supposed to give Shawnee the presents now. Alright, Shawnee, here I come. I'm gonna cheer you up. Is there any new text in this quest? Let's see. Geralt, remembering Shawnee's love for Rowan Blossoms, brought her a branch of them, which she delightedly plaited into her hair. Oh, gosh. Spoiler alert. Oh, if you'd only seen her then. She looked lovely, radiant even. It's gonna work, man. Here, Shawnee, I've got something for you. Still here? Thought you had to meet Olgird. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured Olgird could wait till morning. Smile, Shawnee. No. Remembered I liked the Rowan. remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. Hmm. You've got me or you've got friends. Oh, gosh. Um, so, when I played the main game, Geralt ended up with Yennefer at the end. And now it's almost as if Yennefer doesn't even exist. Uh, but I think that Geralt and Yennefer have a rather special relationship, don't you think? Um, Shawnee's, you know, Geralt's here for Shawnee. You got me. For how long? A day? Two? Don't get me wrong. It's nice, but you come and go. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. I get it. And yeah, could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today, I'm all yours. Well, 
In that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. Well, that was sweet and also very sad. I'm afraid the drinks got into our minstrels. Horribly off key. That's the same song they play all the time. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Uh, it was all right. Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or <laughs> brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <laughs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. That was background. What I remember most, the mood, the feelings, the people I met. And those I met for the second time in my life. You're right. I was up to my elbows in work, but those were good times. They're nice memories. For me too. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop, his business is booming. Good. I'm relieved to hear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old battle axe. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. But you can call me Dar. Oh, thank you, Dar. I feel honored. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Hmm. Uh, unfit, what's that mean? Or you'd convince her, I'm sure. What does unfit mean? What kind of beau is unfit? Uh, so far, every kind. <laughs> <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not. But it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. <laughs> Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. <laughs> Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in that condition. If they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. Mm, I prefer you. Uh, oh, I prefer you. Come on. I wasn't in the mood. Would have resisted, tried to regain control. I think you would have seized the opportunity. 
I don't need opportunities like that. <laughs> oh, change to style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Gorgeous. Walked all the way to Brunwich. Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. Oh, nice sound effects. <laughs> Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Uh, oh gosh, let's waste some more time. Promised you this night. Aim to keep my word. And I aim to be direct. Even more so than Vladimir. Sounds interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. Ha, <laughs> that's the sister. <laughs> Here's taken. Got a feeling it's about to free up. <clears throat> How did you know? <laughs> I'm clairvoyant. Practically full. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble. And I swore a solemn oath. First of all, do no harm. <sighs> Row me to the moon. Gotta fly to get to the moon. You're dead wrong. <laughs> Look, it's right there, in the middle of the lake. <laughs> what are you doing? What one usually does on the moon. <laughs> they could. I'm gonna do it right there in the boat. <laughs> it is a lovely setting. Oh my goodness. Yes, they are gonna do it right there on the boat. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
awake already? For a while now. Did you know you've gained 27 new scars since we last saw each other? Keeping count? Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. Hmm. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Shani, wait. Before you go, I need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. Poor Shawnee. She loves Geralt. And a midnight clear is completed. They did a really nice job with the lighting here. I mean, it really does look like it's early morning. Really, really nicely done. It's a beautiful game. Well, let us uh, see if there is any final text for a midnight clear. So we'll go ahead and do our favorite thing. Scroll down through all this stuff. And uh, see if we could find that. Uh, that's not it. Uh, those aren't it. <laughs> I really wonder what order it puts these in. A midnight clear. The Witcher took Shawnee on a long walk by the river, and then... Then they got in a boat and, as Geralt told it to me, rode to the moon. Could my friend be turning into something of a romantic? Or perhaps he always was one. One way or the other, a pleasant afternoon and eventful evening spent together lasted until the break of dawn, during which time they... You'll forgive me if I spare you the details. <laughs> they did not spare the details in that boat, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, well this looks like a good place to camp out for a bit. And uh, end this episode. We come back next time. We're going to go back to Olgierd and um, tell him the task has been completed. Uh, I'm kind of curious, though, about uh, the crypt. I mean, if we went back to the crypt where Vladimir was, um, would we learn any, any, any interesting information there? I do wonder about that. I think this was the crypt over here, right? Somewhere around here. So we may uh, swing by there uh, at some point just to see if uh, anything happens there because that seemed kind of unfinished. And I'm sure it is. I mean, especially since uh, Gautro Dim made the reference to uh, Olgierd stopping by one time to say something very interesting. So, definitely more to that story. I'm looking forward, I'm really looking forward to finding out what is going to happen. I hope you are too. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving me a like or a comment. I sure would appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.